Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. At Home with Willowberry. Or if you're new, welcome. But where have you been? I'm so happy to see you here. My name is Valerie, and in today's video, we are continuing the renovations in our 1975 double wide fixer upper here in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Tim will be reinforcing the rafters and then re-insulating the ceiling. So if you're interested in seeing how we are preparing the roof rafters to support the weight of sheetrock, then I hope you'll stick around and enjoy the video. We're jumping right into it today, y'all. Tim has placed some 2x4 boards up in the ceiling against the existing roof rafters and now I am going to pre-drill some holes so that Tim can attach the new 2x4 boards to the existing rafters in order to strengthen the ceiling. We will be hanging sheetrock which is much heavier than the original ceiling panels that we previously pulled down so we want to add some support to the rafters with the 2x4s. We did the same thing in our oldest son's room, which is one of the three bedrooms that we already renovated. And I'm sure we'll have to do the same technique throughout the rest of the mobile home, but we're just going to take it one room at a time. This isn't a very exciting step in the renovation process, but it's a necessary one if we want the finished product to turn out right. doing today. I sure hope you're all having a wonderful day. We're doing great except it's been hot and dry here so we're staying inside as much as possible. We sure could use a nice slow gentle rain that's for sure. The grass is dry and brittle and the leaves on my beautiful dogwood tree are starting to turn brown. I thought we were going to get some of the rain from Hurricane Barrel but it never did make it here to our part of the Virginia mountains. I tell you what, we're looking forward to next week. We're heading out of town for a beach vacation and it would be so nice to get out of the hot mountains and spend some time on a windswept beach and play in the cool ocean water and I can't wait. We're really looking forward to our beach trip. We've had a very busy year of renovating and working on outdoor projects such as building a garden shed and trying to grow our first ever vegetable garden. So it's going to be really nice to take a little break down by the seashore.
For the most part, this room is in much better condition than our youngest son's room, which was the worst of all the rooms so far. But once we pulled down the old water damage paneling in this room, we realized there was a leak below the window at some point in the past 50 years. The floor joists under the window are badly damaged from the rain and will need to be replaced. There's also some electrical work that Tim needs to fix, but hopefully that will be finished before we leave for our beach trip. I'm hoping when we get back from our trip that we'll be ready to start ripping out the old subfloor. Once the electrical work is done and the old subfloor removed, then we'll be ready to start putting the room back together again. But one step at a time, and right now we are focused on getting the rafters reinforced and the ceilings re-insulated because the heat coming out of this room right now is unbelievably hot, that's for sure. I'm really excited for the renovation in this room, y'all. My son wants to hang weathered looking wood slats on the window walls, which I think is going to look really cool. Did you know that you can actually order reclaimed barn wood wood slats from Amazon? I don't know if that's where we'll get the wood planks or not, but I just find it fascinating everything that you can find on Amazon. It really just amazes me. 
I literally do at least 90% of my shopping on Amazon. I'm not sponsored or anything. I just really like the convenience of online shopping. We live pretty far out from the main shopping centers, and I never know when I'll be able to make it out to town. So I usually just turn to Amazon, which helps make my life much easier. y'all the raptor reinforcement project is finished so we're going to call it a night tomorrow we will focus on trying to insulate the ceiling in order to cool down the room a bit but first in the meantime how about a little visit with milo
y'all. It's now the next day, and it was much later in the evening before we were able to start hanging the insulation. We wanted it to cool down a bit before Tim got up in the rafters to hang the insulation because it was 97 degrees here in the mountains on this day. Unfortunately, we can only place the insulation up to the middle of the room because Tim has some electrical work to do up in the rafters before we can insulate the whole ceiling. But I tell you what, the sooner the ceiling is insulated, the better, because it's too hot in the mobile home at the moment, especially with all the cool air rushing out through the bedroom. So if you're ready, it's time to start hanging the insulation. hoping that we're going to be able to finish the renovation here in my middle son's bedroom sometime before Thanksgiving, or at the latest, at least before Christmas. Right now, our son is camped out in the living room, and I know he wants his own room as soon as possible. Once his room is complete and he's all moved in, then we'll be able to move on to our next project, which will be Granny's bathroom, which I'm really looking forward to, because it would be so nice to have more than one functional bathroom for six people, that's for sure.
This is the last full sheet of insulation that Tim will be able to hang tonight. There are still a few areas that are open to the outside over the window wall facing the front porch and Tim is going to shove some insulation into those holes for now to try to stop the hot air from rushing into the room. I tell you what, I wish everyone could have a Tim of their own. He's such a good human. He's a great father, a wonderful husband, and I wouldn't trade him for the world. I mean, he's supposed to be in retirement, but here he is sweating his butt off trying to make this house a home for his family. He really is the best. Well, y'all, that's about all we had time for in today's video. Tim reinforced the rafters and hung some insulation, but now it's time to call it a night. Tim is going to be working on the electrical work the rest of the week, so that way when we get back from vacation, we'll be able to start ripping up the old subfloors, and what a hot and nasty job that's going to be. Well, I really hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you again real soon. Y'all have a great week, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all.